Joining us now, New York gubernatorial candidate and Congressman Lee Zeldin. Sir, we're so happy to have you on. Your take on New York Governor Andrew Cuomo getting a $5.1 million book deal about his pandemic leadership. Your thoughts? I think it's crazy, over $5 million. Uh, listen, I was in the middle of this effort to respond to this outbreak. I haven't personally pocketed a dollar. I mean, if, if Andrew Cuomo was making $5,000 personally, that is $5,000 too much, and he should be donating it to charity. Over $5 million, the book didn't even do that well, and it was built on a lie. I mean, he was in the middle of the. I mean, he's under investigation for so many different things related to his COVID response. So, uh, I mean, obviously the book isn't going to be transparent about providing preferential COVID testing to his family members at private residence done by state health department officials. And then the samples moved to the front of the line to state lab uh, or the, obviously the deadly fatal nursing home order and cover up. Uh, and so much more, which is now the source of investigations by multiple levels of government. So uh, I think that a lot of New Yorkers are disgusted. They're they're frustrated. Yep. Uh, they want him gone more than ever. You've called it, quote, blood money, profiting off a pandemic. And also the New York City mayor, Bill de Blasio, calls his book deal, quote, state-sponsored literature that, quote, this guy, Cuomo, clearly depended on state workers to do a lot of the work. You don't need a lot of ethics training to figure out that's not acceptable. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, this doesn't pass any type of a smell test whatsoever. Uh, so th that point is, is well taken. It is blood money. I mean, people were suffering in the state financially, emotionally, physically. Businesses went out. Uh, loved ones were lost. As a result of these policies, you had people lost inside of nursing homes, healthy seniors that became infected and then passed away as a result of that nursing home order. So this is blood money. He should be donating yeah. every last cent. And we also have this. Governor Andrew Cuomo again yesterday joked about, quote, having an intimate relationship with his state health director, Howard Presser, excuse me, Howard Zucker. This happened at a press conference. He's mocking the legal definition of sexual harassment that Governor Cuomo signed off on two years ago. Ten women are accusing him of sexual harassment. He said there's a legal definition of harassment that's very clear. All I was saying is making someone uncomfortable does not mean that. Lawyers and experts say, yeah, it does. A lawyer signed does, says just that. And then he turned to State Health Commissioner Zucker and said, an we have an intimate relationship. Did I make you uncomfortable with that question? So you know what I mean? So why is he mocking it? He shouldn't be. And I believe that the governor should resign specifically solely uh, just on that deadly nursing home order and cover up. But now he had all these accusations that followed. A and you have women who came forward uh, they have allegations that's being investigated by multiple levels. That's not anything to joke around about. Uh, that's not, nothing to minimize. Uh, this governor, by the way, if he was the attorney general right now, would be leading the charge to remove, to go after the governor. If, if Andrew Cuomo, the attorney general, uh, was faced with this fact pattern of someone else serving as the governor, no one would be louder and more forceful in going after that governor then Andrew Cuomo. Uh, he will go after the accuser. He'll go after us if we believe the accuser. He, he, he has nothing to apologize for, he says. There's nothing to show remorse for. Uh, and he's changing the definition of what harassment is. Uh, and it's, you know, really, everyone's seeing Andrew Cuomo for his true colors. Unfortunately, this isn't just Andrew Cuomo from the last year. This is the same Andrew Cuomo going back to the beginning of his time as governor. This is the same Andrew Cuomo going back to when his father was the governor. All right, Congressman Zeldin, thanks for joining us. Come back soon, okay? Thank you. It's good to see you.